Jarvi Instagram settings. What are some safe settings you can use to avoid the many blocks that people are getting on Jarvi in August 2019? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you some optimized settings and some tips and tricks on how you can avoid blocks. All right, so as you can see, we are here at my Engage Pro office. And I know a lot of you have been asking me for an updated settings tutorial, so I decided to provide it to you right now. Now, is automation dead? A lot of you keep asking me, is Jarvi dead? No. I finally feel like we've come to a point where Instagram is starting to, you know, loosen up that vice grip they've had on automation over the last couple of weeks. I know a lot of you like me to just cut to the chase and give you the settings, but honestly, those of you that just like to go and find YouTube videos on Jarvi settings and not actually know what's going on with Instagram actively combating the platform, you are the ones that need most help. Because what Instagram is trying to do is it's trying to rid as many beginner automators and spammers as it can from the platform. Instagram wants their account to be authentic as possible. And if there's a multitude of spammers, you know, the clothing companies that send out spammy comments, you know, every time you post a hashtag, you get a spammy comment, they want to get rid of that. Now, Instagram has also actively gone on and said that there is a place for automation on the platform. Now, if they were really looking to get rid of automators, don't you think that a lot of our accounts would have been banned by now? as many account compromised, as many seven day blocks, as many blocks as people have been getting, Instagram hasn't been deleting counts. Now, for automation to truly die and go away, Instagram would actually have to get rid of the key features of their platform that make it Instagram. Instagram would have to get rid of the follow feature. Instagram would have to get rid of the like feature. Instagram would have to get rid of the features that make it a social network. Think about how many people would walk away from the Instagram platform if they could only follow 10 friends a day and then they get blocked. It simply isn't going to exist. Instagram understands the value that automators bring to the platform as long as we're posting consistent high quality content. They understand that we need automation to grow. We need automation to handle business accounts. I'm currently growing 300 to 500 Instagram accounts daily on Jarvi, perfectly fine. I get a temporary block here and there, I easily go in and fix it. For those of you that are in my Instagram growth course, uh, Instagram Gorilla Tactics, which there are over 150 students in there right now, you know that um, a lot of it has to do with the proxies you're running and the settings you're running. So these settings that I'm gonna give you right now when we jump into the computer are a lot different than the ones you get in Instagram Gorilla Tactics. If you are interested in joining that course, I've linked that below. You get access to the private Facebook group where there's over 200 students in at the moment um, learning how to grow Instagram growth agencies and automate Jarvi on an expert level. So let's hop into the computer and get into the settings and I'll show you guys how you can avoid blocks with optimized settings as of August 2019. I've loaded up this Jarvi account for the purposes of this tutorial. For those of you that are in Instagram Gorilla Tactics, you know that one thing I teach is uh, making scrape accounts for your main accounts. And I go into this deeply in Instagram Gorilla Tactics. It's above um, the scope of this YouTube lesson that I'm putting out there, but this is what you get access to inside there, is actually creating burner accounts to do all the scraping um, of sources so that you are keeping uh, a multitude of the actions off your main accounts. They're using less bandwidth, and if you're on mobile proxies, which is a huge part of running Jarvi safely, um, you will use less bandwidth. And you will find that you get a lot less blocks, a lot less phone verifications, and your program will just overall run smooth. So once again, if you're interested in learning that, feel free to join the course. All right, going up and clicking on my account, heading to the tools section. All right, guys, so inside the follow tool, Instagram wants its platform to be as authentic as possible, right? So the way we are going to get around Instagram detecting that we are running an automation tool is we are going to make our actions as human-like as possible. And the way that we are going to do this is we are going to set up some time intervals and we are going to space out our follows throughout the day. Now, we're still going to be hitting that magic number of, 200, of 180 to 200 follows a day, but it's going to be spaced out. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna optimize these settings here in this tutorial and you guys can follow along. Now one thing I want to advise you on is don't copy these time intervals exactly. I would recommend that you, you know, use your own time intervals, space them out five minutes here and here and there. And the reason for that is because if a couple thousand people watch the settings tutorial, we don't want thousands of people running the actions at the same time. We don't want Instagram to, you know, kind of catch on to uh, everybody using the same time intervals. So go through and randomize them as you see fit, or you could just go through and copy them, you can do what you want, but obviously I recommend that you switch it up. 
and I know a lot of people go a lot quicker, but these are optimized settings for me. I have been consulting with some of the bigger um, growth platforms going in and optimizing their Jarvi accounts, and this is what's working best right now. Uh, I rarely get blocks. I rarely get account compromise messages. It's a lot due to some of the other things I teach as far as you know mobile proxies and setting up scrape accounts and doing some things on the back end. But for now, these settings are extremely optimized and work very good. We are going to wait between 20 and 45 minutes before each operation. We are going to follow between 10 and 30 people per operation with a delay between 120 to 360 seconds between each follow. Now, why do I have it like this? Because think about it, when you're on the Instagram platform and you follow somebody, does it take you 20 seconds to find somebody else and follow them? No. You scroll through their content, you go through different hashtags, you look at different profiles. We want this to be as human-like as possible. It's gonna take you about two minutes to find somebody else and decide whether or not you're following them. If you're performing 10 to 30 follows per operation, it's only taking you less than a minute to find that next person to follow. Instagram's gonna send a block. That's you know something I understand about some other tutorials on uh, YouTube is the delay times. I keep my delay times longer so that you can be more human-like as possible. All right, so now what we are going to do is we are going to set up time intervals. Now, I like to run my program from 8 in the morning to 6.30 at night. Then I give it a break until about 9, and I run it from 9 till about 10.30. Now, the reason I do this is because, think about it, you're on your phone when you wake up around 8 in the morning, you know, you get to work, you're bre breezing through Instagram all day, liking and following people. At about 5 or 6 o'clock, you leave work, there's that time when you drive home, you're getting ready for bed, maybe you got kids, you're doing things, and finally around nine, you lay in bed, you're back on your phone scrolling through Instagram. Extremely human-like, so I'll show you how to set that up now. Now to add a time interval, you're probably only gonna have these two here. So to add intervals, I want you to go ahead and add at least eight, and then we're gonna go through and optimize them, paying attention to the fact that these are AM and PM. And we're gonna go through and do our first hour slot, which is going to be nine, let's go to five, now again, these are just going to be random times. You can come through and you can set these up just like I'm doing here. Taking a 10 minute break in between. Once again, pay attention to AM, PM because you don't want to mess your settings up. So I'll fast forward the video guys, you kind of get the drift and then you can copy the time intervals as you want and adjust them as you want. All right guys, so feel free to pause the video here. We have all the time intervals set up, spaced out from eight in the morning to 6.30 p.m. at night. One thing you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration if you're growing accounts for other people is the fact that they might be in a different time zone. So go in and adjust accordingly. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go over to randomize intervals daily. We are going to randomize, we are going to randomize the intervals daily by a margin of five minutes. What that's going to do is it's going to allow Jarvi to go in and switch those times daily to adjust them by five minutes to always make sure that we are maintaining a human-like process on Jarvi. All right, really ninja. All right, so after you do that, go down here and click add a random sleep time. Wait between five and 10 minutes after executing 10 to 20 operations. All right, and then you can also go through here. I like to run my automation seven days a week. This is going to be subjective on whether or not you want to, you know, just do the follow option Monday through Wednesday, then run unfollows Thursday, Friday, if you want to run both at the same time. Again, more human-like if you run follow and unfollow on different days, but it's all going to be subjective on what you want to do. All right, going further, uh, I dive into the follow limits a lot uh, more in depth on Instagram Gorilla Tactics, but basically we are going to go off the trust score of the account. Now, if this is a count that's been around for a long time, it's three, four years old, we can kind of start off a little bit more aggressive. But if you are a growing account that's brand new, you are going to have to have a warm-up phase. So what I recommend doing is I recommend following between 50 to 75 people when you start off, increasing that limit by 25 until it reaches that maximum number of 200 followers per day. Now, you can go a little bit more aggressive. You can do over 200 follow limits, but it's going to be based on the account's trust score. So my main account, Arbolska, I can go up to about 320 follows per day. Now on some of my brand newer, new accounts, the accounts that have only been around for about a year, I can almost get 180 a day um, without occurring any blocks. So this is all going to be based off the account. It's not going to be based off of you just following these settings. It's going to be based off an account. That's why it's a good reason to know what's going on with automation, what's going on with Instagram in general, and to have a good grasp of what you need to do to make sure these accounts are running smoothly. 
Going down to the user filters, these are the ones that I like to use. These are the ones that are tailored for my business and give me the best follow back ratio. I know if some of you have said in the past that you don't do certain things down here, it's all subjective. So if you don't agree with some of these filters, you don't have to use them, but I'm gonna show you what works best for me, all right? So I like to skip non-English users because all my content is in English and I like to have my engagement in English. I like to have the user to have a profile image. Again, just removes any bots. Uh, the user has a min minimum number of posts, 12. I like the users that engage on my account to be engaging on Instagram and posting. That way I know that my engagement is from accounts with higher trust scores. Helps me in the long run. Uh, the user bio name must not contain any invalid words. Um, I use the bad words that I've generated here. Uh, if you go into the global tools setting and go down to the IG words list, I have some of them down here. I'm not going to go deep into that. Those of you who are in Instagram Gorilla Tactics, um, you get that list so that you can copy it as such. Uh, I don't use any of these filters right here because that will enable Jarvi to take a longer time to find users. If you're going to do that, make sure you're leveraging those scrape accounts to be finding those users. Uh, I like to check the box. User has a number of follower followings in a specific range, 50 to 2,000 and 50 to 1,500. What this does is if you are if you have a good follow back ratio the accounts that are following you back aren't following that many people you're not competing for space in their timeline feed so the way Instagram works obviously is based on the amount of people they're following the accounts that they engage with is who they show first you do not want to be competing with a lot of people um, showing up in their timeline you want the people following you back to see your content because so if they follow you back and see your don't see your content what's really the point all right so I like to go uh, in between these specific ranges, once again, subjective, um, you choose as you want. I don't follow private, private users. You can, it works, but a lot of them you just get stuck up in that, you know, requests folder and they never see it and you're just wasting your follow actions. You want to optimize the actions you're doing a day to get a good follow back ratio. I skip business accounts because generally they're not interested in following you back. They're just on Instagram to do their own thing, sell their products. So they're not really on there to um, build an engaging relationship with. Skip business accounts usually take care of these two tick boxes right here. So we're not going to worry about that. Do not follow uh, accounts with more than six digits in their name. I know a lot of people, you know, had an issue with this one the last time. Once again, it's subjective. You don't have to use it if you want. I don't go any more than six because six is a birth date and people like to put their birth dates. Anything more than that, like John Ranger 575-2565, like, you know, usually a spam account. I go after both males and females. Once again, subjective for you. All right, so come down here and check the box expend when temporarily blocked between 180 to 360 minutes. What this is going to do is Jarvis is going to suspend the program for a certain amount of time if you are temporarily blocked. Uh, and then it'll go back in and start off again. What I recommend doing is clearing the temporary block if you are able to manually go in through the embedded browser and follow then all you want to do is clear that temporary block and start again within an hour. All right, skip wait time with no more results. What that's going to enable you to do is use the time efficiently on the Jarvi platform. If you can't find any more results, it'll go on to the next tool. It'll do the likes, it'll do the story views, it'll do the DMs instead of sitting there waiting for uh, the search to finish. We are not going to like users' latest posts. If you want like tool settings, I'm not going to go into it in this video. Please feel free to join Instagram Gorilla Tactics because I have a whole lesson set aside for like settings and how to avoid blocks on the like platform. Uh, we're not going to comment. We're not going to use any of these. I no longer mute user after follow because if Instagram sees that every person we follow we're muting, uh, it's, you know, again, not human-like. If we're following 180 people a day and muting every single one of them, not human-like. Increase your risk for blocks. All right, moving down, remove poor quality sources. One of the main things you need to be doing now since this block wave is making sure that every action you perform is useful. If you are following poor sources, then you are not going to grow on Instagram because you're limited to the amount of follows you can do per day. So what I want you to do is remove poor quality sources. Go ahead and add two intervals because you are not going to have these um, to begin with. Now the first one is 0 0.05 after 100 follows and uh, three days. The second one would be remove source if follow back ratio is lower than 0.1 after 250 follows for three days. And the third being remove source if follow back ratio is lower than 0.15 after 500 follows a day and three days. So 
With this check, you're going to make sure that you are constantly adding sources into that pipeline because Jarvi is going to be getting rid of the follow back sources that aren't performing well. You want to be optimizing your actions per day. And if some sources aren't performing well, maybe they have bad engagement and maybe they bought followers. Maybe you didn't do your homework on the follow sources side. Then uh, you want to be getting rid of those and constantly feeding the program new sources. All right, remove sources for which the search takes too long. Do not allow adding sources that were previously removed. So, you know, you're not going after the same things that didn't work in the first place. And do not remove the number of sources left if less than three. So that is your follow tab settings, guys, for optimized uh, actions. This will decrease the risk of blocks. Now, it's if you use these settings and plug them in and you're still getting blocks, there are plenty of other things that you can change to make sure um, you're not getting blocks. Maybe just adjust them as you go along, troubleshoot them. You know, I spend weeks adjusting and tweaking my settings to know that they work for certain accounts. If I have an account that I plug into these settings that works fine, then I can plug in another account 10 minutes later and get a temporary block. It's all subjective on the account, the trust score, the proxies. So there's plenty of things that you need to be considering. If you're interested in learning those things, you can join, you can join Instagram Gorilla Tactics where I teach you, you know, how to take your automation skills from beginner to expert and how to actually grow that Instagram growth agency. I'm going to quickly dive into follow sources. We go uh, super in depth on this in Instagram Gorilla Tactics. Uh, basically, the way I like to target is by users that interacted on target posts and by comments. I like to find high quality sources where users are engaging and I like to f uh, follow those users that are, that are engaging. Obviously, comments hold a lot more weight with Instagram, so you want to be targeting those users that are commenting because then if they in turn come and follow you back, they are more than likely to comment on your content as well. So that's one of the ways that I like to target. Again, it's going to be subjective on the type of account you are growing. So guys, I hope you found value in this Jarvi settings tutorial. Automation is still alive. I'm still automating 300 to 500 accounts a day. The students that I have in my Instagram Gorilla Tactics Mastermind, they are successfully continually automating their accounts and running their businesses fine. Once again, if you're interested in joining that course or if you're interested in me growing your Instagram account, I've linked everything you need to know below. So go down there and check out some of those links. Plenty of more content coming this week, guys. We're going to go over um, temporary blocks, account compromise blocks. We'll be, I'll be giving you a live tutorial on how you can start your Instagram growth agency in 2019. If you found value in this video, if you're stumbling on this channel for the first time, please click that like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Turn that bell icon on so that you can stay tuned for future videos and get those notifications, guys. And I will see you on the next one.